All right, we're here with uh, Coach and Abby Brickley after a Wheaton defeated Coast Guard this evening, 77-66. Uh, first off, Coach, just some general thoughts on the win. Great, great game. Really exciting game in our home gym. Uh, Play for K game, National Girl Women's Sports Day, phenomenal student representation in the crowd, gave us that six man against a very good Coast Guard team that came in prepared uh, to, to beat us. And I think it was a great game from start to finish. Uh, rebounding was significant in preparation for this, and I think, you know, closed out the game for us down the stretch when um, they were coming back on us. And I actually think they took the lead at one point, um, but we stayed composed and, and finished it out. Abby, uh, kind of talk about your game today 10 of 14 for the field, including. Uh a great bank shot at the end there when the clock was winding down. Oh my gosh. You want to just kind of talk about uh, just kind of your play today, and it also can you talk about that shot too? Uh, like Coach said at the beginning of the um, game, the captains talk, and we talked about composure. That was a big part of our game, and we started when it started. We started to lose. Um, the big thing was staying composed. So I think even for myself, staying composed, and I played a lot of minutes today, and just being composed was a big thing. And then. That bank shot, I have no idea. <laughs> the clock was winding it. down and no one was open and I was just trying to chuck it up to hit the rim and I chucked it and I thought I was going to break the backboard and then it went in and I have <laughs> no idea. It was a drum and leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was saying, Coach, yeah, what did you see when that, that quickly on that shot before we move on to the next question? <laughs> Honestly, she shoots over 50% from the field. <laughs> so I'll have her take any shot. And that's, you know, we've always had a philosophy that post shoot threes. Kristen Hickey, who's on the banner, came in and shot threes as a post player. You saw Brickley hit a three tonight, inside, outside. And then when the ball, the shot clock's running down, I want the ball in her hands, and she knows that. And I think you know, talking about captains and leadership, um, Stick and Fitz, the two seniors and the three captains, um, just have so much maturity this year and that heart and like desire to pull the team together and lead them the right way, like mm -hmm. doing the right thing, showing up on time, hustling after loose balls, talking all the time. And today. Brick sucked it up where I usually gave her a sub and she like was just the anchor in our defense and helped people get through switches, was there if they didn't and you know really put a lockdown on um, our team defense. So really proud of her today. Abby, I want to talk about you. Talk about the play, just how you and Kylie just kind of grown together uh, this you know this year. Um, you know, coach talked prior to the game just about the improvement of about uh, Kylie and it just seems like you know with the two of you down low and with the movement you guys kind of create to help L LP or uh, you know Arnone or Ferrari, just really just seems like you guys are really helping them out. It, we really, it's unbelievable because it's hard. I just don't know when we're connected. There's no, you can't like you can't stop us. Like we, the guards get it inside, and we, Kylie and I have great, really good connect, um, chemistry. And then we kick it out, and the guards hit great shots, and they have great passes. And the guards have stepped it up a lot this year, and with their passing. And we wouldn't, Kylie and I would not be where we are today if it wasn't for the guards. And I think Kylie and I have also worked on like our passing to each other. And yeah. I just think we are, we're always like, we have six cents, we always know where we are. <laughs> and the coolest thing about that is they're both really unselfish people. Like they're happy for each other when one another does well. And like she said, if they're getting double teamed, they find the guards and they're both phenomenal passers mm -hmm. along with great free throw shooters and um, just great people. And that's how you win. It's not coaching, it's, you know, having great people and good leadership yeah. within a team. Talk about the free throws tonight, Abby, you were four for four and your team tonight here coach 19 of uh, 21 something we've always taken pride in, right? Um, you know, a goal for mine in my whole life is always to finish top in the country in team assists, because um, I love that stat, and then free throw shooting, because I feel like it's a give me. Like, I could go to the line right now and nail one if you want to get it on video. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they take pride in that, and they know that. And we, we talk about that in practice. Like, you know, like you're making this free throw for your team, not just yourself, or you have to focus in that moment and make it count. So we want to get to the line. The, the thought was be aggressive if they weren't going to double team us, and they were really physical. So, you know, not every foul was called, but when it did get called, we go to the line and get 19 points off of it. Your next uh, opponent is uh, WPI. You start a three-game road trip. Why don't you start off, uh, Abby, just kind of you know thoughts, what you need to do, and then Coach kind of will wrap it up. Same question. Sure. WPI is always a huge rival for us. We They're physical. They're a great team, and I think we, have one, we only have one day to prepare, and I think we have a long stretch, but I think we're, we'll be ready. Yeah, this team's really good about taking it one game at a time, and we'll give the, the scout tomorrow on WPI. We haven't talked about WPI at all, um, so tomorrow we'll focus on that. And again, with great uh, veteran leadership, the team buys into it, and we'll get prepared tomorrow. We play on Saturday uh, because of the snow day yesterday. Um, it's their alumni game at WPI. You know, Rusty Egan has the new video scoreboard. Our faces will be on, and uh, it'll be a great crowd probably with the band, but those yeah. are the environments you want to play in, right? Yeah. Sounds good, Coach. Abby, congrats on the win. Best of luck against WPI on Saturday. Thanks, Matt.